particular movie, exactly what he said, uh, as I said, in the 50th, 50th, uh, 56th or 55th minute of the movie Painting the Town, the paintings of Josef Bergner. So that's what he says. I want to paint what is happening now, that the Jews are settling the desert. Not that I'm for it, but I'm an observer, again. Here I have a cockfight in the sky, as you can see here, a cockfight in the sky, and here below there are little settlements. Now, here, actually, if Yossel won't say anything, we wouldn't know that these two are actually here as well, maybe, are settlements. Obviously, they are just brass rocks. And, uh, but once Yossel explained, it makes a little bit more sense. And it makes somehow even the connection with this particular place. Uh, I always have the feeling that the Jews are very, very clever, but not always very, very wise. Maybe not just the Jews. End of quote. So basically, that's what Yossel said in the, in the movie. Now, I'll say some sort of uh, explanation as I can see uh, uh, this specific uh, painting. And uh, I think it's a great painting. As I said, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, uh, oil on canvas. It was done probably in the early 80s, maybe 80, 81, and it was in a few collections. And I just love this painting because of all sorts of connotations, obviously, not just because of the... Uh, uh, the title that you also mentioned. So, uh, the, uh, the title is Three Wise Turkeys. And once you're talking about three wise, obviously, uh, there is this connotation of the Christian uh, story about the three wise men that came to, um, to visit, worship, the uh, uh, newborn baby that was uh, born 2,000 years ago, 2,000 years ago, maybe around this area. It was uh, in Bethlehem, and we are not sure. Maybe it's somewhere there, and it makes a little bit more sense that the scene, once it's a little bit more concrete in the landscape. So they came, and um, we know in uh, in. Uh, art iconography, it's quite well known, um, this particular topic. And Goya, one of uh, Yossel's favorite artists and mine as well, uh, did some things to do with, um, uh, with suggestion to flying, uh, uh, how shall I call it, flying people or uh, uh, levit levitating pe uh, creature somehow there. And, we admire the black paintings of, uh, of Goya, Jocelyn and myself, and uh, uh, actually I have to tell you a story that uh, uh, once, I think it was 1979, I went to the Prado by myself, I had, uh, and I went to the cellar to see these uh, amazing black paintings, and uh, I was full of enthusiasm about Goya, the first, uh, if you want, the first modern painting, uh, painter, or, or we're talking about uh, 1820, something like that. And I, I, I had to share my enthusiasm with somebody and there was nobody that I, um, I knew then that would understand what I'm, my feelings towards it. So I, I took a, a postcard and I I wrote a letter to Yossel and I said, and I have to, uh, uh, to let you know that Yossel, at that period, admired Velázquez. Velázquez is a, another great Spanish painter that was uh, before uh, Goya and uh, a really great painter. But I was with this Goya business and I said, of course, I was very, very young. And I said, you Velasquez can kiss my Goya's feet and all sorts of stupid uh, things. And uh, when I met him, actually, he also came to the airport when we, we arrived uh, back. And uh, he looked at me and said, you don't understand anything in painting. So I just uh, love it. And uh, 
it really reminds me. And Yossel did quite a lot of things after Goya. Uh, he copied Goya's paintings. But again, when he copied Goya's paintings, he made it very current, contemporary. Somehow, obviously, Goya did the same for his time, the early 19th century, and he also did the same. So anyway, just coming back to this uh, painting, I, I hope that you can see some details, which are really beautiful, how, how all these three majestic creatures are, are floating in the air above these settlement and the uh, Judean desert, obviously, if there are settlements or uh, I'm surprised that there are no uh, um, no other uh, no other people around. But anyway, this is another uh, comment. And uh, he also played with the with the white and in the way that uh, just he knows how to do it. Really, really beautifully, and and you can feel that these uh, uh, chicken or, 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 or turkey, whatever they are are really white, but somehow the, the white is so rich with so many colors and um, uh, sort of the grayish white, but you feel that it's white. Actually, it reminds me that uh, uh, Yossel told me that in the early 50s, when he was still in Sfat, uh, he used to paint during the evening and he used all the, all the colors of the palette. And in the morning he came to see the painting and it was completely grey. So grey is his colour and uh, he knows how to manipulate the grey to all sorts of extent. Obviously the few uh, uh, black spots here are just the eyes of the turkeys and this is exactly the same as he did with the black in the eyes of his uh, Meidalach, the, uh, the, the, uh, the girls or the, uh, the black spots in, uh, in the flower painting. So uh, somehow around this black, all these things are happening. So yeah, quite a lot of uh, things and um, I just love this painting. So I thought I'll share it with you. Thank you very much.